So for this, um, this is called standard form for a line. This is standard form, which simply means that you have a x a in this case is two um, plus b y b in this case is three. Yes, it's three. Very good. And then uh, equals c, and c in this case is negative fifteen. Um, that's just standard form. X comes first, then Y, and then a constant, or just a number with no variable. And uh, um, how can we graph this? Well, there's 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 two ways to graph it. First, um, you could use the intercepts. That's what we're going to do. Or you could change it into slope-intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. And I'll show you that, I think, for one example. Um, so let's take a look at this to find intercepts. Well, first, I'm going to explain something kind of quickly, uh, and then you, hopefully this will make sense of why we do this. First of all, we've got we to gotta understand what is an intercept. Uh, I tried to circle that. What is an intercept? It's just, so an x-intercept means a point where something crosses the x-axis. So this, uh, this point right here would be an x-intercept. If I wanted a y-intercept, it's just where the where something crosses the y-axis. So this would be a y-intercept. I should draw it. There we go. That would be a y-intercept because um, it, in, it crosses the y-axis. All right. So if I look at this, if I want to say this point, this, this ordered pair, remember x comes first. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, comma, well, I don't move up or down at all, so that's 5, comma, 0. Um, what about this one? That would be negative 3, comma, 0. <gasps> what's, what's, what do you notice about those two things? What about this one? That's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Negative 9, comma, <gasps> 0. I don't move up or down at all. In fact, if I have an x-intercept, four x-intercepts, for x-intercepts, the y values are zero every single time. If you're on the x-axis, your y value is zero. Okay, what about um, for x-intercepts, y is zero. And then for y-intercepts, here, I'll draw these. Maybe you can point these out. Uh, what would this be? This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No. Remember, x comes first. That's zero because I don't move at all, left or right. 0, 7, 0, 1, <gasps> and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6. So look at that. If you were to compare it with this sentence, what would you say? Y intercepts have x values that are 0. Great, I heard you say it. You didn't, you didn't say it out loud. Why would you say it? If you're watching this, why would you say it? Okay. Um, so I'll write that down. Some people get confused about this, and they think like, isn't it, isn't it backwards? Y intercepts, X is zero. Why wouldn't it be Y zero? This is why. It just happens that whenever you're on the Y axis, meaning you are a Y intercept, whenever you're on the Y axis, the X coordinate is zero because you don't move left or right. If you did move left or right, you wouldn't be on the Y axis anymore. And similarly uh, for the X intercepts. So how do we find the X and Y intercepts of an equation like this? So that's the, the, the goal, and I'm going to do an example for this one. So I'll show it to you. So that's the first step, and I'm going to copy this over here, over her. So I take this, find the uh, intercepts. Um, okay, so I'll do that first, and I'll do it in red. Um, for the x-intercepts, here's how we do it. We're just going to use this. x-intercepts have y values that are 0. All right. So I'm going to write this equation down, 2x plus 3 <gasps> times 0. I'm making y 0. Why am I doing that? I just explained over here. If you're an x-intercept, the y-coordinate is 0. Okay, so I'll make y 0. And then I'll just solve for x. So 3 times 0 is 0. Then I just have 2x equals negative 15. <gasps> divide by 2, divide by 2. This is amazing. What is that? Negative, I can't reduce it, um, so I can write negative 15 over 2. Some people have a hard time like understanding what, what that actually means. So you can get a decimal. Um, I think that would be negative 7.5. Great. So the x-intercept, look at these. 
These are ordered pairs, right? These are all ordered pairs. Even the y-intercepts, they're all ordered pairs. So how would I write an ordered pair here? Well, I already know what x is. I just found it. So I'll write that. Seven, negative 7.5. But what's, what's y, Mr. D? What do we do with the y? We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know what y we, we know what y is. We made it zero. It's zero. It has to be zero. It has to be zero. Okay. That's the x-intercept. So that's step one, finding the intercepts. Oh, I've got to find the y-intercept. And I'm going to do that a little bit more quickly. So same situation uh, for y-intercepts, though. X is zero. So I'll write down the equation. 2 times 0 plus 3y equals negative 15. And then I'll solve. So that goes away. I just have 3y equals negative 15. Divide by 3. And then y equals negative 5. Right? I think so. I don't, I'm not good at math. And then, so I can write my... Um, well, I know what my y value is. I can write my ordered pair. And I know what my x value is. It has to be 0 because I made it I made it 0. So maybe I should write this as well. Make x 0 for y-intercepts. All right. That was the first step. Uh, it becomes a lot quicker. You can actually do it in your head, right? Because if you make y 0, it's just negative 15 divided by 2. Or if you make x 0, then it's just negative 15 divided by 3. So you could, you could actually do it in your head, and it becomes really easy. Why don't you do it in your head? I'm trying to explain it. Gosh, what do you do? Okay, Charlie, you don't got to be so mean. Sorry, I didn't. All right. Um, all right, so that was step one. Step two is to just plot these and connect them. That's because we're trying to sketch the graph. Okay, plot and connect. I'll write that in green. So I'm going to go plot these things like in a garden, and I'll write that over here. So the first ordered pair, my x-intercept was at negative 7, negative 7, comma, 5. No, no, negative 7.5, comma, 0. So I'll do that uh, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, wait, it's 7.5. So what does that mean? That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then halfway. All right, there's my x-intercept, and now my y-intercept, which is 0, comma, negative 5. 0, and then down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's all she wrote. And that's how it is. Yeah, that's all. So, there you go. That's for this one, and I think I'm going to stop. There is an, a, a, like an extra case. Um, that's on number 10.